Today I will be talking about a very, very popular book called The Zombie Survival Guide by Max Brooks. Um, I suspect most people know about this book, even people that don't read books at all. Most people have heard of this book from other people, or they've seen this book. It's very popular. It's, uh, I believe it's won several awards, actually, by now. It's a very, very interesting book. Um, I'm going to get this out of the way right now, because this is... It, it's a very good book. And I have heard nothing but praise for it, but I have heard a few negative negative things pointed out about the book, so I'd like to address those quickly, because I don't think it's at the book's fault. A lot of people seem to think that this is a uh, comedy book, and I believe in some ways the book almost tries to present itself a little bit as a comedy book. It is not. This is... I mean, it's not a serious book, but it is not a book that is going to try and make you laugh. And a lot of people, I understand, bought the book under that pretense, thinking it was going to be humorous, and it's not. It, the book takes itself very seriously, which is kind of funny because it's not, but it tries to take itself very seriously, and it is not a humorous book. So don't buy it if you're expecting to get a laugh. Uh, that out of the way, the only other criticism I've heard of this book is that some people found it boring which, uh, as I've said before, is not really a criticism, a specific criticism of anything. Uh, you can find anything boring, so I don't find that to actually be accurate of, of the book, because that really comes down to personal taste, and even then I have heard almost no one uh, ever call this book boring. Um, but essentially what this book is, the Zombie Survival Guide, is it's acting as though Zombies are real. It does a very nice job of setting it up to make you think it's very, very real, explaining how the virus works, how zombies are constructed, and methods to escape from them, kill them, all kinds of things. It lists all kinds of information. Um, and then in the back it compiles a little list of historical events in which zombies were uh, found uh, throughout history. Uh, to give you some examples, uh, here is uh, an area discussing weapons that you can use to fight zombies. There's, uh, I don't know if you can see it from there, a nice picture of a chainsaw, talking about using chainsaws, which I believe at this point have been used more against zombies than they have against lumber through the last few decades. Uh, bows goes on to talk about different kinds of firearms. There's a crossbow. Um, it spent some chapters talking about defense, where you can hide, how to barricade a home, things like that. It was very interesting. I was very, very consumed in reading it. And I almost feel, it feels kind of like I was wasting time reading the book. Because it's telling me all these things that it's trying to make sound so factual. And I feel like I'm learning, but I know that I'm not. Because, I mean, this, this kind of thing isn't exactly plausible. At least I don't think so. I'm sure some people do. So I almost just felt a little silly that, I, that I've, I've taken so much of this to heart, and I've now been so prepared for the zombie apocalypse. But um, goes on later to discuss things like uh, transportation. There you can see a helicopter, and there you can see a hot air balloon. Discusses different kind of terrain and how to survive in it. Uh, cityscapes, uh, tropical areas, plains, mountains, tundra, things like that. Discusses armor. It, it's very creative in a few ways. Um, it's almost like it was written someone by someone that was in the military, or just a combination of people in the military and uh, people with different survival skills. And some of the advice it gives you is actually helpful in real life for survival situations. Uh, don't buy it under that premises, though. I wouldn't want you to be trying to use this to survive in the wilderness or anything. But it is very, it's a very nice book. Very interesting. Um, it was a fun read. I would definitely suggest it. Uh, the only complaint that I personally had is, uh, towards the end of the book, they begin to discuss the, uh, zombies in real life, like actual historical events, uh, where people think they've witnessed zombies or things like that, like seeing someone crawl out of the ground somewhere and they say, oh, it's a zombie recorded historical area or uh, someone they think is dead, they see again. It's essentially just a giant listing. It goes on, I don't know exactly how long it is, uh, just an estimate, about a hundred pages or so, at most. So it's actually a good, fair portion of the book, in fact. Um, all of this section here is, uh, from here on out, is uh, for just 
the uh, zombie information and historical events. I'm not sure if you can tell how thick that is there, but that is about 100 pages or so. So it's a, it's a good portion of the book there. Uh, and that is really my only complaint is I didn't like it. I never got through it, actually. I'm My bookmark's still right here on page uh, 196 out of about 250 or so. Because I just couldn't get through it. It just started to get boring. Because what they did was they, they filled the first two two thirds of the book with fun, interesting ideas and, and stuff. And they filled the last one third with historical information. And it just seemed kind of misplaced. I guess it's because you're supposed to kind of go back and forth between the two. Maybe that's why I didn't like it. Because I tried to read the last one third of the book all in uh, just once. And it just started to get boring just reading these historical facts or historical situations over and over. I mean, some of them were a little interesting, but I just don't feel like going through and picking them all out. Um, so I, I feel like it would have been better just dispersed throughout the novel than clustered into the back, because it just really lost my attention at that point. And it's a, one of the very few things in writing, uh, one of the few books I've never actually finished. I, I consider having finished the book, I just haven't read the historical documents. I don't really plan to, actually. But other than that, I think this is a, this is really a, a very nice book. Um, very entertaining. Most people will love it. If you love zombies, you will adore this book. I'm a big zombie fan myself. Um, big fan of Dawn of the Dead movies, things like that. So, if, if you're a zombie fan, great book. If you're a anything else fan, probably still a great book. It really is nice. I would probably give it about a 8.5 out of 10. Good book, little bogged down in the second half. I think it's this is one of the very rare cases where I can say universally, I think just about everyone will enjoy this book. So that's it for today. Thank you very much.